Hey guys, so today I'll be reviewing the new Viking Bikes Honda Rebel CC Bar and Backrest. I'll be putting it on my Honda Rebel 300 2021, mainly to carry a cargo for me, but you can also use it for something for your passengers to rest on. Actually, Viking Bikes was kind enough to reach out to me on Instagram and send me a sample to review for you guys. So let's go ahead and get the package unboxed. So as I mentioned, um, this was generously sent to me by Viking Bags. It arrived really quick and it was packaged really well. And here I'm holding the bracket. You can see that it is a matte black color and it's very sturdy. So I'm opening up the second one. The package does come with two, one to attach to your left side, one to attach to your right side. So judging by the feel and the look of the CC bar as I unpackaged it, you can definitely tell it is a quality one. It felt very hefty and rigid in my hands as I unpackaged it. So that just let me know that it'll last me on all the trips I plan to go on. And it also comes with a backrest if you'd like to put that on. You can screw it on and unscrew it if you'd like to remove it. I'll most likely be unscrewing mine as I don't plan to have a passenger on my bike, but if you do, then that would be a good option for you. The package also came with its designated hardware, and I'll be explaining shortly which ones to use and how to use them. So this is what the sissy bar looked like when it was installed. It was a very straightforward and easy installation. Just takes a bit of time, some patience, and some elbow grease. So what you do is you make sure you have the right brackets from each side. They curve inwards so you can tell which side is which. And then you take the spacer, you put it between your fender and the bracket, and you take the longer screws and you attach the bracket to your fender. And then you take the shorter screws and you attach the sissy bar to the bracket, and then that's pretty much the whole installation right there. Something that I do recommend you keep in mind while you install this is that these screws right here that are attached to your fender are very very hard to get out. So make sure you have good leverage and once you hear that loud pop then you know that you can unscrew it since you've loosened the screw. Each screw does come with a spacer so just make sure you put it on before you put them in. It took me around I would say 30 minutes maybe and it was just a really straightforward and easy installation overall. And again, if you don't want the backrest on your sissy bar, that's totally fine. It is removable. Just unscrew these three screws. It slides right off. So how I personally ended up using my new Viking Bags Honda Rebel sissy bar was by removing the backrest and attaching a cargo holding bracket beneath. This allows me to carry my things using bungee cords and a cargo net. I also happened to relocate my Viking Bags tool bag to behind the sissy bar as you can see here. I would definitely say that the Viking Bags Hana Rebel Sissy Bar is a great investment if you're looking for a sissy bar for your Rebel, whether you use it for cargo, passengers, or both. It blends in with the Rebel's slick aesthetics so much to the point where it feels like it had always been there.